Well, let's start with this, because it all funnels down from this. The Kings are a completely different team at home. Yeah. And most teams are, but they're generally better and fueled by their fans, and they raise the intensity, and uh, they thrive off the energy. Mm -hmm. The Kings seem to thrive off adversity. They seem to thrive in a situation where they have to force the urgency. If they have to get in a position where, I guess as Mike Brown put it, if, if they're in a position where they kind of start thinking that things will start coming to them, as is prone to happen at home, when you have what's generally regarded as the most vibrant fan base that's been dormant for 16. That's dormant. That's not fair. There's a lot of people that have been good fans. But, um, you know, there's a, 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 a lack of consistent urgency at home. And you see it in the numbers, too. The Kings have the best offense at home. Like, of everybody at home, they have the number one offense. I think they have the 29th defense at home. And then on the road, they're, like, top three offense and top ten defense. Dang. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, that's nuts. Yeah. And it's been something that we've talked about a lot, which is, like, and Mike Brown's done a good job of kind of, like, he calls it, like, slippage. You know, it's invisible. And it's deadly at home if you just think things are going to happen. I think that's kind of one of the things that I think as Mike Brown put to take his words again because whenever the Kings lose a game like that always listen to Mike Brown's press conferences they're generally very good and informative and uh, he said something to the effect that you just have to find a way that people have to light a fire under each other it's almost like he just keeps pushing that things kind of have to come from within you know, Mike Brown's done what he can do for the most part there comes a point where they gotta do it we've been mm -hmm. saying that all season yeah He's been saying it all season. Fans probably know that. And it's getting to that point where you got to make that push, kind of push them out of the nest, if you will, and see if they can fly. Yeah. Uh, are you concerned? Uh, I'm a little concerned, considering the Kings are going to have a home series in their first the round Kings of the playoffs. Kings seven games. They won every game on the road, just not enough road games for them. Yeah. I imagine if that was the story. Well, do you remember... Do you the remember Kings th kneecapped by being the third seed. Yeah, exactly. Do you remember the 2019 World Series against the, the Nationals versus the Astros? And each team... It won seven games. And no one won at home. I didn't know that. Yeah, they all... The only the only games every team won was on the road. So when the Astros won, they won in Washington. Hmm. When the Nationals won, they won in Houston. So, I mean... Well, yeah, watch that happen this year where the Kings lose because... <laughs> they only have th three uh, road games, but I mean, I hope that's not the case. And it's, it, I mean, as a fan, it's like, yeah, take advantage of this crowd. Take advantage of yeah. your fan base. I mean, we do have one of the better crowds in the league, and even just in the uh, in the regular season games this year, and those close ones. I mean, it's been electric. It's feeling like a playoff game just from the noise level and the cheering. So, I mean, I mean, the Kings gotta take advantage of it for sure. It's it is concerning. It's been a trend all year. You kind of should be better at home, mm -hmm. and they're just not taking advantage of it. And like I don't, I don't know if it's like you said, where they're kind of just, I don't know, just kind of taking it off. Yeah, I remember Mike Brown a couple months ago, and I was looking for it for one of the articles I was writing, and I was slamming my notebook on the ground because I couldn't find. It. It's like one of those things where you're like, I know I heard it somewhere, yeah. and you're looking for it everywhere, and you just can't find it. <clears throat> Maybe I dreamt it. I dream about, <laughs> about Mike. Yeah. Um, but he said something to the effect, because I think Chris Bitterman asked him, like, I remember how it went. Yeah. It was like a post-practice media, you know, meeting, and uh, I think Chris Bitterman from the B asked him, like, you know, I don't want to do a Bitterman impersonation. I'll do a Bitterman impersonation. Yeah, you know, uh, <laughs> great reporter. Uh, just like James Hamm, great reporter. Not the best radio voice. <laughs> <laughs> They're great at what they do. Uh, but Bitter I'm not, I'll stop with the Bitterman. He said something like something about noticing kind of the way the Kings kind of don't always take advantage of that home crowd. And Mike Brown said he's just like, yeah, they just kind of sometimes they expect things to happen. And when you hear that, what do you think? When you hear that, and that was a couple months ago, and you hear that, and you know that that's still the issue. Is essentially rehashed the same way on Sunday afternoon. Uh, what do you think is the solution? Uh, don't take anything for granted. 
I mean, that's like the only thing. Like, play harder. I mean, like you said, they're the the problem is clearly the defense. Get some stops. Put a little more intensity on that defense. Don't expect the crowd noise to hinder the defense. <laughs> My cat's just going crazy right now. Um, <laughs> she's deaf, so she can't. She doesn't understand how loud she's being at times. But yeah, you just can't take it for granted. You can't rely on the crowd to alter the opposition's offense. I don't. Even, I don't even know if they do. But considering they're a top ten defense on the road and the 29th defense mm-hmm. at home, I mean that's clearly the issue right there. Yeah. So. But I mean, like the word that gets thrown around a lot in terms of that stuff on defense is physicality. Yeah. You see it all the time. I mean, like you're watching that Spurs game. The Spurs in the first quarter had like it was like on out of like seven possessions, there were like five wide open backdoor cuts that were made. Yeah. And as Mike Brown said, if someone's gonna make a backdoor cut, they have to run through your number. I like the way he put that. They gotta run through your number. And the Kings were just a screen door at that point. You just mm-hmm. couldn't stop at nothing. Yeah. urgency's got to be there from the start 